Hey up, it's Steve from that old Yorkshire Geek. Apologies for my appearance. Um, I know I always look like this, but I'm looking a bit more like, you know, death warmed up this morning. Don't know why. I feel fine. I'm just really tired for some reason. I don't know why. I had a good night's sleep, but this morning I'm just, I'm just like, Ugh. anyway. Anyway, bit of Star Wars news. This is from Bounding Into Comics. And uh, it's about Damon Lindelof's alleged Star Wars film. So let's have a look. <clears throat> Here we go. There's Damon Lindelof. Um, I've, I've not got many good things to say about Damon Lindelof. Uh, his writing is not very good. Is is a is a um, what's the word? What's the phrase? Um, <clears throat> is a um, a bad robot mystery box writer, isn't he? He loves setting up things. And not paying them off is rubbish at endings. Anyway, Hollywood producer Cameron Pasha claims reported Star Wars project Star Wars Star Wars project from Watchmen showrunner Damon Lindelof is not happening. Um, that Watchmen has lasted for one season, which I didn't loathe, uh, but I didn't really particularly like it either. And of course, that ended badly, didn't it? I think, and it, it wasn't expecting a second season, so why didn't he, you know, give it a good ending? Because he can't give anything a good ending. Uh, plus, you know, it was, it were all about the message, you know, the message, that's what it were all about. It wasn't about the Watchmen or the, the story or anything like that. Or an adventure. But I digress. Right, Hollywood insider and producer Cameron Pasha recently claimed that the reported Star Wars project from Watchmen... For some reason, I can't say Star Wars this morning. Star Wars project from Watchmen showrunner Damon Lindelof is not happening. And there's Luke sipping on his green milk from his... Um, I forgot what they call them. Some at Sirens, Fowler Sirens, whatever the hell they called them. God, I hate that film. <laughs> the Last Jedi, it's a bloody... It's an abomination. Anyway, Lindelof's Star Wars project was first rumoured to be in the works by Richard Rushfield at the Ankler back in March 2022. <coughs> Excuse me. Rushfield claimed word around Buena Vista Street, not near Disney, is that Damon Lindelof, uh, the Emmy-winning creator of Watchmen, Lost and the Leftovers, is working on a Star Wars movie for Lucasfilm. Sorry. <laughs> Uh, and there's uh, Luke in Rise of Palpatine as a force ghost that can do all these amazing things. Can do basically everything he could do when he was human. So I, I don't know. Do, do. The project would then be announced to be in the works by The Hollywood Reporter, THR, in October 2022. The Hollywood Reporter's uh, Aaron Couch uh, claimed Lindelof was co-writing the script and Charmin obeyed Chinoy. Apologies if I'm mispronouncing that. Probably am would be directing the film, and there's Ray in The Rise of Palpatine, on the remains of the Death Star. <sighs> At least Rise of Palpatine was funny. <laughs> Not deliberately, but at least it was funny, because it was just that ludicrous. Anyway, the Hollywood Reporter's Boris Kitt would provide further coverage about the film a day later, claiming that the project had been in the works for months. Kitt also claimed that Lindelof was writing the script with Justin Brick Gibson. Why has everybody got three names these days? I've only got two. I feel, uh, feel hard done by, mother. <laughs> he went on to reveal that the film is being planned as a standalone film, but if it happened to be successful, it could lead to sequels. Finally, he revealed the film would take place following the events of The Rise of Skywalker and could feature some of the characters from the Star Wars trilogy made in the 2010s. Uh, at the end of 2022, World of Real God, never heard of them, claimed Lindelof's Star Wars film would go into production beginning in April 2023. Another scene from The Rise of Palpatine. This is Ray Force healing um, Kylo Ren. Or is it Ben Solo at this point? I don't know. Who cares? Uh, there have also been conflicting reports from Jeff Snyder at The Ankler about the race and gender of the lead character on the podcast The Hot Mike, Snyder originally claimed. So I've heard that the lead in Lindelof's new movie, the Star Wars movie, is Lindelof directing this movie? I don't know. I doubt it. Uh, so I heard that the lead will be a person of colour and likely, though it's not confirmed, it's what I took from it. It's a man. I couldn't get a name or anything like that. 
However, in now de- in a now deleted tweet, he claimed that it would be a woman lead rather than a man. Of course, because you know, no such thing as a male lead anymore. <laughs> <clears throat> As reported by Bespin Bulletin, Snyder tweeted, Update to yesterday's Hot Mike podcast, I have predicted Brian Tyree Henry would wind up the lead in a Star Wars movie, and maybe he will. But for now, I've heard that the person of colour lead in Lindelof's movie is actually a woman, not a man, as I'd originally been led to believe. Any ideas? Snyder explained the deletion on Twitter, writing, Original source reached out to say, Someone's effing with me, and it's a guy, so who knows? I don't care, it's Friday night. AMA, that's not about Star Wars. Oh, all that matters, it, that's not about Star Wars. No, oh, what's AMA stand for? I'm, 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 I don't know. I'm a boomer, I don't know what AMA stands for. I'm sure it's something, you know, cool. <laughs> Uh, despite all the reporting, there hasn't been a confirmation of the film from Lucasfilm and Cameron Pasha claims the entire film is not happening. He appeared on Valiant Renegade's channel where he first detailed how he didn't believe any of the reporting because the film came out of nowhere and film production and development usually takes a significant amount of time to come together. He also, especially when they're saying it's going to start shooting in April 2023, which is only like four months away. So, <coughs> you know... Word had got round that uh, it was in pre-production, and it didn't. He also claimed that Lindelof has a reputation for not getting his projects together in a timely fashion. Uh, And that's Valiant Renegade's uh, YouTube thing. Uh, However, he then went on to reveal information he received from a source within the Walt Disney Company that informed him Lindelof did not have authorisation to announce he had an upcoming movie at Lucasfilm. Kathleen Kennedy was forced to confirm. She didn't announce it, nor did her people. It came from his camp. Pasha went on to claim that Lindelof and his people might be trying to will the project into reality by announcing the film without permission. I've said that before, that they've done that before. J.J. Abrams does it all the time, doesn't he? He did it recently with his Star Wars for Star Wars, Star Trek for um, announcement. Uh, he explained it fits into the modus operandi that I've believed and claimed and I've heard from my sources is true and uh, that the same thing was done with the master of this, Leslie Headland. Uh, done with the master of this, Leslie, Hel- Hes- oh. Leslie Headland and the Acolyte, where she basically decided, you know, I'm going to force their hand. I'm going to move to make this show by announcing things without permission. I said, Damon Lindelof, and Alex Kurtzman does it as well in Star Trek, announces stuff like the Section 31 series and all this other stuff that he's going to announce. You know, they all announced the, when they were part of the universe, Dark Universe thing, they are announcing all these films that he were involved with, you know, producing or whatever. And it never happens. So they just announce stuff. And it never happens because they don't get off to a good start because they're idiots. Uh, there's Daisy Ridley shouting. Uh, I think that's when she thinks she's killed Chewie, doesn't she? But, uh, uh, spoiler, she doesn't. Uh, fellow scooper and insider WDW Pro, who's now got videos on his YouTube channel, huzzah, would provide his analysis, claiming the project is not happening given the timing of it and the current transition phase that the Walt Disney Company and Lucasfilm is in. Uh, transition phase, uh, is that just because Bob Iger's back? Probably, I don't know. He explained, all of this is a farce. We know uh, that they're going into a transition time. The transition is coming. None of this is real. We all know it's not real. It's the ramblings of a studio in disarray. I think there's rumours as well, again, that Kathleen Kennedy's on the way out. But, you know, <laughs> we've heard all that before. What are you up to, cheeky monkey? Eh? Are you coming to be naughty? Come on off there. Come on. Oh, yeah. Come on off there. You're going to make me edit this now, aren't you? Yeah, cheeky chops, you. Hey. Where were we? Um, Pasha then suggested that Lindelof was using this, the disarray to push himself. This gentleman has had his career. His star has fallen in the last several years. You don't hear anything about him. And suddenly now he's the talk of the town because, again, the strategy is this project isn't real, but now his agent can call around and say, look what he's doing. Let's put him up for this assignment. Let's put him up for this project. You want to meet with him again, right? It's just strategy. 
Sorry, I told you I'm tired. <laughs> Strategy. Can't even speak. Uh, there's Kathleen Kennedy and the great uh, John Williams, who uh, there's talk that he's not retiring any time soon. Uh, but he's getting on. He's 19, you know. But uh, anyway. Uh, later in the video, Pasha discussed another scoop he received from an alleged insider who told him Kennedy asked Iger if, given the newly planned Lindelof movie, she could stay on to oversee it. Bob said no. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? If that were true. <laughs> if that were true, that'd be funny. Ooh, what happened then? What happened then? I know what happened then. I clicked on something, didn't I? He said, uh, can, I, can I keep me job, Bob? No. Now leave. Not that he talks like that. Uh, and it's probably not even true, but you never know. While discussing this information, uh, Pasha explained it was a ploy for Kennedy to try and stay on at Lucasfilm as long as she has something in development. He revealed that his source informed him that the Lindelof project is not real. Apparently, the direct conversation that my source is privy to said Bob Iger's like, yeah, that's not real. You and I know that's not real, so no. And there's John Baegras Finn in the rise of uh, Palpatine. God, it was stupid. Anyway, what do you make of this rumour? Uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but yeah, it's, as, as they've said there, it's just smoke and mirrors. That's all it is. They just announce things, particularly bad robot people. J.J. Uh, Abrams, Alex Kurtzman, Damon Lindelof, all the others. I don't know if Leslie Headland's connected to him. He probably is, because he's got his tendrils everywhere, isn't he? Aren't he? But uh, yeah. It's all smoke and mirrors. They just announce things just to keep themselves in the headlines and, and you know, they keep the fingers crossed that they've, they've got a job and a payday coming up. But uh, I don't think it'll happen. I don't think we're going to get a new Star Wars film for quite some time. I don't think we're even going to get Taika Waititi's uh, Star Wars film. I think it's going to be quite some time. They're concentrating on uh, Disney Plus now, aren't they? Star Wars is now a television franchise. Tell you, George must be rolling in his four billion dollars that he's got. <laughs> they didn't give to charity. A lot of it. Anyway, we'll leave it there. We'll leave it there. Get rid of that. I'm going to go and probably yawn a lot and um, watch some TV. Don't know what I'm going to watch. Any ideas? Drop it in the comments. Um, by the way, I forgot to mention, links in the description. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Uh, share the videos. Drop a comment. Uh, I'm also on Rumble and Anchor.fm and uh, Spotify and Amazon Music Podcasts and Google Podcasts. And you can also follow me on my social medias. Links are in the description. There's also links for my books, Mercury Rapids and Silent Predator, if you want to give them a, a look. You know, it's not war and peace. You know, it's nothing, any, you know, nothing of great literary value, but it's a bit of fun. Oh, they are a bit of fun. Right, so... Wherever you are in the universe, look after each other. Until next time, I'll see thee.